Hello and welcome to the Planning Hub on the White Bird Directory and today we are joined again by the lovely Claire from Bird Thank Photography. You. Thank you. Now of course she's White Bird approved, a fantastic photographer that covers Wiltshire, Gloucestershire and well all surrounding counties really. And you will, if you're a fan of the Planning Hub, which of course you are, you will have seen that Claire popped in to see us a little while ago and one of the biggest points that we talked about was about posing and there's so much to say and so much to demonstrate as Claire is going to do very shortly. But um, we thought we'd do a whole video on how to make yourself look your very best in photographs. So Claire is going to chat to you through, but also demonstrate, which is even better, so proper good stuff. So I suppose we need to start with, how are you gonna start feeling your best? So let's, let's start from the very beginning and then you can carry on. Well, I just had a photo shoot done, so I can, I can, oh. I can say, hand on heart, Start by having your makeup done professionally. Oh, I really agree with that. Cheat. Yeah, <laughs> but I agree with it. It gives you confidence. It, it, it gave me so much more confidence. I felt so lovely afterwards. I just, I just, I was in the zone when I was yeah. there and I really felt great. Professional hair and makeup, definitely oh, the way so to go. So worth the money. Oh, so goodness. worth the money. It's so, so worth <laughs> Also, good underwear. Yes. Don't, don't worry about anything skimpy because I'm not going to see that. Yeah. So, good underwear, get everything in the right place and then have your dress to fit. Yes. Nothing too tight. No. Nope. Nothing too big. We don't want skin oozing. No. But also we do want it full. So we got, we need we a need nice medium brown. Fitted. We want it to be fitted, fitted properly. So go to your dress fittings with your dressmaker, get your dress fitting. If you don't, you will feel uncomfortable. Mm. If you feel uncomfortable, you will look uncomfortable. You'll hate the photographs yeah. because you can see that you're uncomfortable. You'll carry it in, in ways. But also, there's nothing worse all day than pulling up a dress. It happens so often and it's so sad. The number of photographs that I've got of the ceremony where somebody is pulling on their dress yeah. as they're saying their vows, and it, uh, it just yeah. it ruins it. It yeah. absolutely ruins it. And nine times out of ten, the registrar won't let me take another picture. Mm -hmm. So we've lost so it. So that's it. It's that or nothing, man. It's such a shame. Get your dress fitted, get your makeup done. So we know how to feel totally confident. Yeah. And now how we're going to look amazing. Start, right. with, start with your feet. I'm going to copy. Start with your feet. Right. To begin with, if you're wearing flat shoes, your, your calves will look quite big and chunky. I've got what they call Welsh calves. <laughs> chunky Welsh calves. <laughs> the, the taller the heel, the skinnier and more defined my, my leg muscles become. So start with the heel. When I approach people at a pre-wedding shoot, the first thing they do is kind of freeze. And it's a bit nervous, and isn't it? The shoulders go, the boobs sag, the belly comes out, and people just clench their fists and they look quite terrified and everything just looks bad. I'm an apple shape, so I don't have much of a waist at the best of times. If I stand like this, I just look it's like not gonna look great, it's not it? good at all. No. So start with standing up nice and straight. Just turn your hip, to your, your hip and your foot. Yeah. Just slightly well. away. You can go either way. You yeah. Can, it works either way. But what it does is where I was as wide as my body and my arms, if, if I keep my hands absolutely straight, the minute I turn, I've just got I'm an inch. That I, I just, yeah. just give myself a chance of just looking that little bit smaller. Now, nobody really wants to have a massive bottom in pictures and what's closest to the camera looks bigger. Mm -hmm. So if you want to reduce the size of your bottom, push it away. Hey, so use your hip. Use your yeah. hip. Okay. They, the, in the modelling world, they call it popping the hips. So okay. you just pop it backwards. So all of my weight now is on my right leg. Mm -hmm. I do what I like on my left. I throw my arms around you and I could kick out. How I just make that lovely big dress look gorgeous. Oh, I know. Or, Rather than clench my legs together, which spreads them, I call it squishage. Instead of squishing my legs together, make them look big, I can put my leg out, which instantly makes it look as if that leg goes on forever. Yeah. So take the leg away from the body, point the toes, let the knee be bent. And it's so feminine as well. It gives you it does, and that's what we have, ladies. So don't hide them. Exactly. We're not supposed to be men. We're not no. supposed to be big butcher. No, we've got, we've got to some big curves. Absolutely. So instead of being all rigid, let that hip flop out, point that tall, be nice and graceful. Now, the arm needs to get away from the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not to get a bit of. Yeah. Not only will it show where the waistline is by moving it away, also. It'll reduce your bingo wings. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm in this video, not a model, because this is a really cruel thing to do. I know I have bingo wings less than they used to be. 
is an awful lot less new speed, but still, that's not an attractive look to have all of that on display. But by moving it forwards, it disappears, it hides itself nice streamlined around the back. And if you pop the shoulder forwards, then as the light hits it, you naturally get light and shadow, which yeah. slims you down. Sorry, slims you down that little bit yeah. further. So it's hip away, arm, and you boob slightly at the camera, and suddenly you've started looking. There's a gap there, you can yeah. see there's a slight, yeah. slight. And quite grounding as well. <laughs> bit sexy. <laughs> Who doesn't want to look yeah, sexy? Absolutely. Who doesn't? Absolutely. Then you can actually do things with this arm as well. If you want to, you can keep it as long as you can see mm -hmm. through. Never put it aside because suddenly I'm wide again. You can just let that arm go around the back. Just fall comfortably. Just fall mm -hmm. nice and comfortably. You've got one shoulder up, one shoulder down, which gives you the nice C curve that models have when they're posing. From there, we're working our way up. We've now got to the stage where we're at the head. If you keep your chin down, this is what you get. Never attractive. If you push your nose forwards, that disappears. Hey, lots of this. brides tell me, you know, oh, I've got to have my head up, I've got to have my head up. It's like, no, don't, don't, no, don't, don't, don't. Stand tall, but not stand yeah. tall. But the minute you do that, you look like Miss Piggy, you can see straight up your nostrils, sure. and light hits you. Oh. When the light hits you, it emphasises this. Okay. So you're better off actually keeping your nose down, but bringing and your nose forwards, forward. because then there's shadow underneath. Yeah. So if I'm vaguely in position when my head is down, I've got heavy nuts around the, around the side of the jaw and I've got a double chin. The more forwards I bring my jaw, yeah, it feels ridiculous. Yeah, but it's just right. shots. You can't, you can't feel in no. the photograph, you just see. So the minute I come forwards, this bit thins out and that's gone. So before and after. And the number of times I say to my bride, okay, bring, bring your chin forwards, and they go, no, I can no, see no, no, there. No, 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 now from there, come down. But as I'm coming down, I'm keeping my head forward. Sure. I'm, I'm not letting yeah. the neck go back at all. This is fantastic. So we now have ladies standing properly. And actually, it's really easy. It's not difficult it's not, at all. It's a little swing out. Yeah. You can go one way or the other, oh, yeah, whichever yeah. is your better side. And actually, it's, comfort it's not uncomfortable, it's is not it? It's not at all. And if you really want to go to the end yeah. degree, you can even make your hands look thinner. Big hands. Look big. I know my pork sausage fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what you can do is just curve. Don't have it dead straight, you'll look robotic. Yeah. Anything that bends on a woman should be bent. Bend the elbow, bend the fingers. You're now looking from the side, the wrist looks really thin. Pop that shoulder forwards, lose hey, that arm behind. You've got it. And then chin forwards. This is fantastic. And then it. all you've got to do is just let your head tilt and smile. Yeah. Amazing. What a difference from what you first started with. And from starting dumpling. So good posture? Yeah. Imagine that somebody has caught you by the top of your head and, and just pulling you up. Out. And it just automatically then moves your shoulders back and you look so much more elegant yeah. and so much more feminine. So many of the brides at the last wedding show said, oh, I'm getting married in two years' time. Girls, go to yoga, go to Pilates. Oh, yeah, definitely. Start getting, start getting your posture ready. Yeah, it's these shoulders as well. So often they yeah. fall forward, get them back. Yeah. But you're saying get them back. Pop but that actually, one. Pop that but one. also, the, the right. way that you've shown, you do it naturally, don't you? So yeah, yeah. fantastic. And when you're having your photographs taken, just push your nose and your boobs forward. Pushing your boobs forwards automatically brings this bit yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. So stick your boobs yeah. and your nose at me. Amazing. That's all I need. Oh, Claire, that's fantastic. And also, you'll be so pleased to hear that Claire is going to come along to our amazing, amazing, amazing two-day wedding show event at the Steam Museum in Swindon. It's on the 13th and 14th of January, so I know it's a while off now, but it'll soon be here, and Claire is actually going to be doing um, workshops on the stage, so you must come along. She'll be doing those both days. And come and watch, come and be my model. Come, Definitely. Come, come and try it out. It's invaluable, life. but it's great, not just for your wedding, for every other shoot that you might get involved in, so that you can look at your photos and go, I love that, I love that, look at me. Brilliant. Oh, thank you so much, Claire. Thanks for the chance. No, not at all. And make sure to have a look um, on underneath this video. There will be Claire's link to her um, directory website, and it is Barefoot Photography. I've squished my arms. Oh, final shot. Oh. <laughs> so, that's so easy. I know. I know. I know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Claire. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Natalie. Thank, thank you.